Hey there guys, if you're wondering which grow tent lining to choose, um, there's lots of different claims by different manufacturers, or maybe you're just lining your grow room, then this is the video for you. What I've done is I've tested all the major, most popular available uh, grow tent linings or grow room linings, and I've tested them in a typical setup to see which is the most efficient and uh, delivers the highest amount of power down onto your plant canopy. Test setup I've used is a typical four x four or 1.2 by 1.2 meter area. This is my regular test um, uh, setup here. I've got a 500 watt array eight hanging at its optimum hanging height. And you can see there it's about uh, it's 11 inches or about 28 centimeters from the um, underside of the light here to the tip of the power sensor. I'm using the Apogee e-power sensor that measures from 400 to 750 nanometers. And what I've done is I've taken uh, recordings and a grid all across the uh, grow area here, which is representing the plant canopy. So it's determining how much power is reaching that plant canopy um, and comparing it for different uh, grow tent wall linings. Now, the linings I've chosen are ones that you guys recommended to me. I did a little shout out on, uh, on, the, um, on a post. And we've got, and you can see it over this side, it's actually on the boards, is uh, white emulsion paint. We've got the white uh, Panda Mylar, just this thin plastic sheeting. We've also got the Orca Grow material, which is a uh, sort of a fabric which uh, claims to have very high re reflectivity. Uh, it's used in, in lighting applications for lining um, reflectors and that type of thing. I've also used uh, Mylar. So we've got a, a silver diamond Mylar here. It's called diamond because it has this little pattern uh, on the Mylar which sort of diffuses the light a little bit, that's it, spreads it out a little bit and softens it. And then I've also used um, plain Mylar. Now Mylar is basically an aluminium surface coating on the plastic. So when I talk about Mylar, it's the very same as Mirror. Um, mirror would be a little tiny bit less reflective because it's got the glass in front of, of this foil and um, therefore it'll be absorbing a tiny bit of the light, but very little, so it's more or less the same. Although well, why you'd want to line a, a grow tent or a grow room with, with, with mirrors is, is uh, questionable. Um, very heavy, very expensive. Um, but uh, very shiny aluminium foil is the very same thing. Just simply an aluminium surface. Um, so very high reflectivity. A couple of things have changed. I did this video before. And most people now are using LED bars or quantum boards. And what that means is you've got a lot of multiple different sources of light um, reflecting off these walls. So previously I would have advised, for example, to be careful about hot spots and using the flat silver mylar. That would have been with HID, which is a single source bulb. It would have had a very focused uh, point of light onto the reflective surface or uh, cob fixtures, which would have had this, a similar sort of uh, issue or potential issue. When we're using LEDs with all these LEDs spread out, there's multiple light sources coming out the reflective material at all sorts of different angles. So the chances of you getting a hot spot from say a curved bit of mylar reflecting down on an area is, is minimal. It's, it's pretty much non-existent. So I wouldn't worry about that. Really just we're looking at the, the, the most light reaching the canopy. So let's look at the results. I started off, started off with the lowest one, the lowest result, and that was the Panda white film, and um, used that as the baseline. And that delivered an average power of 716 micromoles from the 500 watts. Um, next up was the Orca Grow, again, lining all the walls, doing exactly the same test, same height, same sensor, same everything else. And we got up to 746, that's 4% more. White emulsion then beats Orca Grow um, with 756 average power or 6% plus. Then Diamond Mylar is next with 9% more than the baseline at 782 power. 
And interestingly, silver mylar, nice big jump there up to 809 micromoles um, or 13% over the baseline. So you're getting quite a significant increase over um, white material, uh, at least 3% with white emulsion up to the diamond mylar. And um, the plain silver mylar, you're actually getting an increase of 7% over a white surface, the best white surface available. So this is really interesting and just wanted to show some of the, um, the reasoning behind this. So let's take a closer look. So the photons coming from the light fixture are hitting off the sidewall and white emulsion is basically um, same with the white mylar or the orca grow. It's uh, reflecting the light back in all directions. And that means if we look at the, uh, first of all, we'll just look at the par reaching uh, point in the bottom of the canopy. And you can see the the apogee meter. I'm not sure if you can read the screen there, but uh, it says 715 micromoles. And looking just above the light fixture, at the light getting reflected back up, we are getting 113 micromoles. So that's light, 113 micromoles of light is being reflected back up in that direction. We'll switch now over to the silver mylar side. And now we are getting 795 micromoles. So a significant increase there from the mylar. So more light being reflected down, which is good. Oh, I'm afraid you can't see that. Oh, there you can see it there. Seven, uh, it's actually 821 when I lie it flat properly. If I go above, same point above, see how much is being reflected back. You can see it's only 70, about 75 micromoles. So what's happening here is the diamond mylar is um, obviously a mirrored surface. And that means the photons of light come down, hit off it and are directed downwards. Imagine a uh, tennis ball bouncing off a flat wall. Now the, the diamond will deflect them a little bit, but as we saw in the test, most of them or more of them are coming down onto the plant canopy because of the reflective surface. The white, however, is diffusing in all directions. So it's a bit more like having a, if you can imagine a bumpy wall where that, that photon of light, imagine it as a tennis ball hits that wall and it may back, bounce back in any direction because it's not a mirrored reflective surface. It's not smooth, it's effectively bumpy. Um, and therefore the photons get bounced in all directions coming off that surface. So white is highly reflective, but it's not optimum when we want to get the light from here down onto a single surface. However, if you're using it in grow room walls, for example, where the light is not directly impacting and you just want to get as much light back off the walls as possible, uh, emulsion, white emulsion, absolutely fine. But where you've got uh, light, you want to redirect light back um, between basically the light fixture and the plant canopy. You want to use a, a smooth reflective surface like a, a mylar. Now there's an argument with the very shiny diamond mylar that it creates a bit of a, a wavy type surface and it's not very nice to look at and I'd have to agree with you there. It is a little bit more efficient, you know, you're getting an extra three or 4% but uh, it does um, confuse the eyes a little bit. It's not very nice to work with. And this stuff that I was using is, um, happens to be very thin as well. It's very hard to, uh, to get smooth. It sort of ripples around the place uh, and can be um, a bit of a, as I said, a bit, a bit of a strain on the eyes really. However, it is the best. So if you want to really optimize and squeeze that little bit out, you could use this. And in fact, it's very cheap and you only have to use it in a strip between the, where, uh, basically along where the light hits the wall of your grow room. So you could just have, you know, two or three feet, 60, 90 centimeters of this material running around the, uh, the grow room that you've built uh, or your grow tent indeed, if it's a white one and you want to upgrade for a little bit more light um, and just uh, spray adhesive onto it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I said, you're not going to get hot spots if there's a little bit of ripple here and there. And uh, you can squeeze a little bit more out of your lighting system 
for just a few dollars or a few euros of um, mylar foil. So, hope you enjoyed. Looking forward to the questions down below. And uh, yeah, interested to hear your comments. Take care.